Hello everyone, we are XPM Network, I am Lee, and today we're going to have a look at Super Destronaut DX. Now this is published by Rataliaka Games, and I probably said that really wrong, um, and developed by Petite Games. Uh, released 11th of July uh, 2018, it's not that long ago, um, and it's on the store for £3.99. pence. I'm going to have, give you a quick description of what the game says. Uh, on the store, uh, once upon a upon a time, arcade shooters, arcade shooter gamers, where you have to fend off impending waves on a, of an alien menace, was all the rage. But while retro may be old, it is never forgotten. So inspired by an arcade classic, Super Destronaut DX is retro space shooter that pits you against an enemy more dreaded than a UFO, a scoreboard. And I won't go on any more than that. Basically, it's an up-to-date version of Space Invaders. Um, it has 30 different challenges. There's three modes, a normal classic mode, time attack, and hardcore, which is just one life. Um, uh, there's also a local two-player multiplayer mode, which is pretty cool uh, to have in there. Uh, online leaderboards as well, so if you do want to challenge your mates uh, from wherever they may be, you can have a go and beat each of the scores. Um, this game is probably the easiest 1000G you will ever get on Xbox One. Um, if it takes you any more than half an hour, you should probably pack up gaming because it's that easy. Um, and for near, for under four pounds, I think a lot of people, although it's a decent game in its own right, might just pick this up just for an easy thousand G, and then just go away and never play it again. But let's see. The reason it's paused, by the way, is because in the options, this is no uh, volume controls. I'm worried you're not going to be able to hear me, uh, so I'm just going to go straight in. Through the challenges, you need to only need to do 12 of the 30 challenges to get all the challenge achievements. So I'm just going to quickly go through that. Um, if you can't hear me from this point on, I do apologise. Game starts. So I've already got my first achievement, which is called Starter, and it is to kill one enemy. And I looked on the game hub. I checked out how many people have that achievement, and everyone that owns, out of everyone that owns it, only 94% have got that achievement, which to me is crazy. Now I've already had um, another two achievements pop: complete one challenge, which I've just done, and also kill the orange guy at the back, which is the one that gives you the special, the orange one at the very top middle. That's the one that gives you your special ability. Uh, I've got an achievement just for killing here that once as well. So what, this challenge was just about killing so many. One more to go, there we go. It just, you don't have to carry on, it just completely stops the challenge once you've completed it. Complete three ways. As well. So you'll see as I play through, there's there's a very amount of like sort of special weapons that you do you do randomly get. Got to watch out for obviously the bullets that are coming towards you. Make sure you kill them before they get to the bottom. But also you'll see the grey ones sort of scrolling towards you. Make sure you don't run into them as well. Got another achievement called Persistent, which is hit one of the grey enemies. Sometimes like that, when they die, they come down and they're still like a a threat. Just gotta make sure you don't go into them. Now, I'm on Twitch, and the little thing at the bottom middle is sort of in my way. The whole crew was lost. Die once. Oh, I, I didn't even realise I failed that challenge. So you need to die once for, for an achievement, which is exactly why I did it. Yeah. When I'm in the middle of a spaceship, I cannot see me in a spaceship because of the twitch. The little bar that goes along the bottom. Which is my excuse when this goes horribly wrong. That's sorted. Wait, 
There we go. There's another achievement there for ATG. I like challenges. Complete three challenges. Game start. So what I really want to do is try and work your way to that back middle one, orange guy, get your special weapon. It just makes life a whole lot easier. Challenge completed. So let's get two power-ups. We don't have to get that. Great things in the way. Grey one ten times, so that's like the falling dead guy. Just gotta hammer him once he stop dropping down, whoever that might be. It's not gonna be on this wave looking at it. Come on! Oh, there we go. There's one over it. Okay, okay. Killed myself trying to do it in one go. Achievement, mastering challenges for ATG, complete six challenges. Obviously classic mode is just sort of an endless mode, going for a top score. Um, well, same as a uh, hardcore, obviously just with less, less lives. And then time attack you just need to get. I think for the achievement time attack you only need 10,000 score. That's the time attack achievement done. 1,000 score needed for the hardcore one, which is, as you can see, with the scores going up so quickly, that's very easily done. Now some of the challenges do look quite difficult when you actually look at all 30. If you are literally just hunting for the achievements, you're not going to have any issues whatsoever hitting the 12, achieve, uh, 12 challenges. Out of one 
special weapon into the next. And again. Well, I want to go straight down the line. Five times multiplier, that doesn't take too long. Literally counts it down for you as well. resets when you get hit, which is happening far too often for my liking. Alright, yeah, okay, it beat me. Uh, so that's enough of that. Challenges, as you can see on this screen, that's all 30. 11 times. Hard mode. Hit a grey one 50 times. So you get the idea of sort of challenges. You're not going to have too many problems, even if you want to get all 30 done. Uh, and then you go, you've got your classic mode, which is just straight to score, or complete the score, time attack, and then hardcore. If you've got another controller plugged in, you can hit the multiplayer. Leaderboard to pop up nice and easy. What's that? 5.8 million is top score right now. What's that? Oh, let's just get on there and quickly pause it. Right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what it is. Basically, chilled out, pretty easy game. If you just want to knock back and just try and get loads, just high score, challenge your friends over online leaderboards or join up with a mate and have a go together. Um, hopefully like, that's enough for you to make a decision. It's 3 99 For those of you that want an easy 1000G and you have four quid stick you know in your in your Microsoft account, it's worthwhile the purchase, I think. You're gonna like that extra thousand G on top of your game score if you care about them sort of things. Uh, hopefully We'll see you again very soon. We've got loads of games coming up, loads of giveaways on our Twitter. Uh, so make sure you're following us over there uh, and uh, giveaways, things like that. But please hit the subscribe button on YouTube as well. really helps us out. And then we can bring more content and more giveaways. Uh, and thank you as many ways we can. So see you all very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.